you up. I'm so funny. Okay, good. I want you to be funny for yeah. this. Okay. All right. Yep. Okay. Okay. Welcome to Politics NY with Sky. Schnepps Media is asking each candidate running for New York City office this year three questions in three minutes to get to know them in a fun way, Councilman right. Darrow. So here we are. He's the current right. councilman for District 24 in Queens. He's running for re-election. He has some opponents that are primarying him. He also has a Republican opponent. So let's get to know him a little bit. Councilman, tell us a little bit about yourself in a fun way and why you are running for re-election. Oh, in a fun way. Well, I mean, the definition of fun is Jim Gennaro, really. This is really, you look up fun in the dictionary, you have my picture. When I was younger, of course. And uh, yes, I served on the council for 12 years. I was with the council for 13 years before that, before I was a council member. So 25 years with the council, uh, 25 budget cycles, and budget really is the key. You have to know your way around the budget, and I do very much. And so uh, I served in the council for 13 years of staff, 12 as a member, went to work for Governor Cuomo for his deputy commissioner uh, for New York City sustainability and resiliency, because I'm the environmental guy. I chaired the environmental participants committee for 12 years and I chaired again now already, I just got there. And they made me chairman again of that committee, which is great. We're gonna do all kinds of wonderful things to clean the air and water of New York City. I have a lot of unfinished business to do, uh, when I left because of term limits, even though I had passed 50 major pieces of environmental legislation, also did the Tobacco 21 law, which is now national policy. I got that done. It took me eight years to get that done. And without that, we wouldn't have a national, uh, you know, um, age of sale of, uh, for uh, tobacco products of 21. I did that. You're welcome. But it was really a fun thing to do. Sadly, both my parents, um, uh, you know, both my parents died of cancer and I'm like sick of cancer. I don't want to hear the word. I want to wipe it out. That's what we're going to do with Tobacco 21 or at least take a big chunk out of it. Um, my constituents seem to like me uh, when I got 60.1% of the vote in the special election in an eight-way race. I didn't think that was possible, but apparently it is. So I'm very, very gratified by that. I got more work to do. My colleagues like me. We got a whole bunch of brand new people coming to the council in 2022. I don't know, you know, how it's going to work, but I think we need a steady hand with a lot of experience that is a voice of um, moderation, but also moving forward in a very progressive way, like where it counts and where it really counts. And um, I think I'm that guy, but more important, I think my constituents think I'm that guy. I think they know I'm that guy. And so we're hoping for good things in the primary and for the years going forward. I'm ready to go. How do I look? Do I, do I look ready? Yeah, you do. And that was great. It was your and, little feel. Great. Okay. Yes. Well, I was wondering if you're going to ask me about my recent marriage, because that really is, you know, I, I got married eight months. Oh, you just got married. Yeah, I got married eight months and I got eight months and eight days, eight months and eight days. That's so like a yes. thing. You had a pandemic wedding. Yes, we did have a pandemic wedding. We were supposed to get married in April, and then we were supposed to get married. This is 2020. We were supposed to get married in April. COVID said no. We were supposed to get married in July. COVID said no. Finally, I said, Wendy, I've got I've got a primary in June. I got to get going. Like we got to have it now. Let's just have a couple of us. Let's do it on Zoom. And we did that. And little did we know that there was going to be a special election before the primary. So. We've been doing nothing but politics since we got married, but um, it's really been great. I'm very grateful for, um, you know, to be able, after after 25 years of marriage and five years of widowerhood, you know, to be able to um, um, be in this wonderful life circumstance again, it's really enriching. I feel like I have to give back because I've been blessed and um, that's kind of part of it. How did you meet? We met at Aquista Restaurant. Uh, which is a nice little place in the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. um, and I go back a long way with that. When I first got when I first got when I first got elected in 2001 and Bill de Blasio was running for speaker at the time, mm -hmm. that's where we went to have a little bite to eat. He was courting all the you know various members for uh, you know speaker vote and um, he didn't win that vote, but it came there. So not too shabby. And um but actually, the, 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 uh, and, and my wife is the director of development for a major not-for-profit in my district called Queens Centers for Progress. They service the 
developmentally disabled of all ages, Queens Centers for Progress. I'll give them a little plug. And in 2008 or something, when I was councilman last time, I was the grand marshal of their little like parade, which is like, a, you know, they have all their various um, individuals that they serve. We kind of marched up 164th Street. And uh, she was there. She supposedly put the sash on me as the, as, as the grand marshal, but I don't remember her. You know, um, but um, yeah. So then we 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 met. We uh, you know, and then and now we're married, and she and she got roped into all this. Awesome. So, but it's, but but she has no buyer's remorse, or or like none that she tells me about. This is great. This is all really good, and it's all part of Schnapps Media's three questions in three minutes. Even though we went a little over, we're going to end now on behalf of Politics NY. I'm Sky.